In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import planners, journals, and fonts into Zinnia. Zinnia offers an amazing selection of pre-made planners and journals to get you started for any time of the year. There are multiple categories and different styles to choose from. Click on the pre-made template that you'd like to use and it will import directly into the studio. Zinnia has this awesome capability of letting you import PDF files, providing additional flexibility and customization. Once you've downloaded your files, you can place them in Zinnia by clicking Import PDF Files here. I'm going to import this digital fitness planner template. Zinnia is more than just a note-taking app. It is a creative space that allows you to personalize your journals, planners, and more. The best feature to digital planning or journaling, in my opinion, would be the font selection. Zinnia has an amazing collection of fonts to choose from in their studio. Cashmere Moon is my personal favorite to use. Zinnia has another amazing capability, allowing you to import handwriting fonts. Here is a quick guide on how to set this up. First, go to the iFont app. Now, if you don't already have this set up, it's very easy. Click on the App Store and type in the search bar iFont. Once you have done this, you will see the iFont app and click Download. Once it's downloaded, click on the app itself and you'll be directed to this page. Click to font and then in the toolbar, go ahead and write handwriting or if there are any other font styles or themes that you're looking for, place it there. Then, find what handwriting or font style you like most. Once you've found one that you've liked, click Download. Then, click the Import button here. Click the Install button that's next to the font that you wanted to import. Tap the Open Settings button, which will direct you to your main settings page. Scroll down and click VPN and Device Management. Then. Click on the font that you want to install. Now that you've downloaded your font, go back into Zinnia, click on the Fonts tab, and you will find the font that you just downloaded. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Happy planning!